guys welcome back to my channel today we're going to be doing a nordstrom trunk club unboxing and try on it's been a while since i've done a trunk club unboxing and try on so i'm really excited today i've just kind of taken a break with a bunch of unboxings and these clothing subs subscriptions that there's only like a few that I do now because um, it gets a little bit more expensive but I love Nordstrom Trunk Club because you get so many pieces sent to you. It is a personal styling service that selects and delivers clothing that's hand-picked just for you. You go online, complete the style profile, you let them know about your preferences, like your style, your size, your fit, and your budget. You pay a $25 styling fee, which goes towards any of the items you decide to keep. And if you are a Nordstrom Trunk Club holder, the fee is waived. Prior to your stylist sending you your trunk, you get to see a preview of the pieces that your stylist curated for you. This will allow you to make any changes to your trunk before it gets sent to you. And you'll have about 48 hours to do this before your trunk is finalized and shipped off to your house. Once you receive your trunk, you'll have five full days to try everything on at home and decide which items you want to keep and which items you want to send back. By the way, shipping is free of charge. Anyway, I have a gist of everything that's in this box, but you can never really tell how well these items are going to turn out or how well it's going to work for you so let's open this up so you guys can see what's in my trunk club it's really heavy duty and i love it because you really do get a trunk <laughs> this is how big my box is this time around it has a fun little handy dandy handle there's everything inside i requested a few things in this box i did change out quite a bit of items as well so in your box, you get your little Nordstrom pamphlet here. You get the two pieces of tape to reseal your trunk when you're ready to send everything back. And then your little return label invoice sheet here with your note from your stylist. Hi Gafi, I'm excited for you to check out this trunk. I focused on stylish and versatile options for you that will create a variety of looks for just about any occasion. Each item can be mixed and matched and pairs well with everything in your closet this season. During the next 48 hours, you can review your trunk, remove or swap items that you do not want shipped to you, and leave feedback on the items selected for you. Your feedback is an important part of the process as it helps us get to know you and your style preferences. After you leave feedback, don't forget to select up to three more items of your choosing to add your trunk looks. Looking forward to your feedback, Mel. So many pieces in here, so I do not know where to start. So, Let's start off with one request that I have, and it's a bra. This is from Donna Karen, New York. It's 34C in the color beige, $46, and it's a strapless bra because I am in need of a strapless bra. I hope this one works. I love the strapless bras that come with the detachable straps. I did ask for some loosely fitting midi dresses. This is a size small from Halogen. It's the textured tie waist shirt dress in the color black, retailing for $79. Totally something that I would wear. Bellafore rib pullover sweater in the color purple, size small from Madewell, retailing for $98. Really lightweight. Love the color. Okay, got another dress here. This one is from Treasure and Bond in the size extra small. It's the side ruched bodycon dress, and this one is in the color blue, retailing for $59. Cute everyday dress again. I also have the oversized three quarter sleeve shirt dress in the size extra small. This is a Nordstrom exclusive brand in the color green, retailing for $89. So I'm not so sure how much I'm going to love this dress but I'm excited to try it on because you never know until you try it. I do love the color though. All right, okay, so I got a few pairs of pants. I requested like looser wide leg, you know, fitted pants. Okay, so this is 90s high waist relaxed jeans, size two in the color black from Good American. And this one is retailing for 155 does look like a really nice pair of black jeans though. This is a gray pair and this is from Wit and Wisdom in size 4 petite, absolution high waist ankle skinny jeans in the color gray retailing for $78. This looks like a really nice pair as well. It has that stretchy waist here, really cute. This here is the 90s high-waisted relaxed jeans, size 2 from Good American in the color black and this one is retailing for $155. And this one I'm really excited about because it looks like it's a real 
loose pair of jeans. This is kind of what I'm looking for, so hopefully this works out. And then the other pair I have here is the ex-boyfriend ankle slim jeans in the size 26 from AG, the color gray, retailing for 225. Ah, 225. Geez, should I even try this on? Because if I like it, it's gonna suck. <laughs> So I did get a few accessories. I'm gonna show you the first piece here because I did ask for some hoop earrings. And I've been, you know, they're real popular right now. I got the pair that I'm wearing here as a gift um, during Christmas and I love them. And, oh, these are really cute. Argento Vivo. It's cubic zirconia star huggy hoop earrings. It's one size, color gray, retailing for $58. It has like the star detail really cute it's not like overwhelmingly big and then I did get a pair of shoes two pairs of shoes I am looking for a really nice pair of Mary Janes they found me these and I don't know I mean it's not completely white in the picture it looked like it was completely white so that's not that that's a good thing because I didn't really want a pair of like white Mary Janes and they did get me a size 8, so I'm not sure. Maybe it runs a little narrow because it is pointed. So I'm really excited to try these. Really cute pair. And it has like that kind of croc uh, detail. Is this one leather? I'm not sure. But this is from the brand Who What Wear. It's the Marjorie Mary Jane Flat in the color ivory, retailing for $99. And I did get a pair of booties from Mark Fisher. The Pauline Chelsea Boots, size 7 in the color white, retailing for $119.40. And I know this here is also on sale. Usually it's around like $200. I'm really excited to try these on. I did read that these run a little bit bigger, so hopefully they fit. I love this because it's white and it has the real thick lug sole. I've been loving the lug sole. As you guys know, this is like really popular right now. So um, it would have been nice to see it in black. All right, so I think I've opened everything in my trunk. So I'm gonna go ahead, get situated here, try these on so you guys can see what they look like. I'll be right back. I'll start off with the Madewell pullover. It is a really pretty, rich purple color. It is 40% wool, 35% polymade, 15% viscose, and 10% camel hair. And it's dry clean only. Really nice sweater, really thick and lightweight. Um, there is a slight itchiness to it. It has like some striped detail to it, but it's very subtle. Um, really nice texture to it. It's like a cropped fit. And I think it fits me perfect, really nice, really comfy. And I am wearing it with the AG jeans. This is a size 2 slash 26. And of course, I love them. They fit perfect. It's a low rise fit, straight cut. I'm a 4, but in AG jeans, a 2 works for me. It says it's a gray color. And I think it leans more towards like a really, really dark gray, almost black faded kind of wash. It's so comfortable. It's really nice and thick, not super stretchy, but just enough stretch. These jeans are just magic. I really love this pair and I knew I shouldn't have tried them on. Uh, anyways, really cute staple outfit here. I love this. Okay, so here is the next pair of denim. It is also in that gray color, and this is from Wit and Wisdom. And they gave me a size four petite, and there's still a lot of room in here. I think this also runs a little bit bigger. So if you're, again, if you're in between sizes, size down, I can probably go to a two petite in this. It's not quite as thick as the other pair of denim. It is a higher waist, love the color. It has really nice full pockets in the front. Uh, pockets in the back and zip up button closure. Really cute. I did request baggy jeans and this is quite the pair of baggy jeans. <laughs> it is the Good American jeans. It's a size 2, high waist and it fits perfect at the waist and it's definitely baggy. It's quite too long on me. I went ahead and put on the lug sole boots from Mark Fisher and these boots 
are quite the lug sole as well so this is definitely giving me 90s vibes i can totally rock this with a baby tee because that's kind of how it was worn back then you wore like really baggy pants and maybe like lettuce wrap like fitted tee when i first put these on i was like oh my gosh this is way too baggy this is more on the other end of what i want but it's honestly super comfortable and the more I look at myself in the mirror wearing these the more I love them I love the wash of them they are long so I would definitely need to take it in and get it hemmed the waist is perfect on me but you have a lot of room in the bum area here thigh area which I like because I have thicker thighs and it's still running really loose but I really do love this really cute Here is the long length shirt dress from Nordstrom. It's a dark army green color. It does taper a little bit longer in the back, so it gives it that low, high low detail at the end. I have to say that it is such an odd dress, but it's so weird. I don't know if my taste is changing or what, but I like it. I love the loose fitting dresses. It has a regular collar up top here, a little bit of a puff sleeve, but then it has like a fitted cuff that lands right at my elbow. No buttons or anything, so it's like a pullover. It gets wider towards the end here, so it's like almost like a A-line fit. There's like hidden pockets on the sides, which I like. It's very interesting, and I feel like because of the silhouette of this, it would go well with these lug sole boots. Definitely like more of like fuller like shape to these pieces. I'm really loving this baggy style. Am I like, crazy right now. I didn't think I would love it, but I do love it on. I don't know what you guys think. I would say it's very fashion forward. If I wore this out normally on my every day to day basis, people would look at me like, what are you wearing? But I'm like enjoying this. I love it. I love the way I feel in it. It's very comfortable. It's not restricting. It's just an oversized shirt, but like a long dress kind of feel. treasure and bond ruched dress the nice blue heather color i don't tend to like like fitted dresses like this but something about the ruching on the side here it's only on one side overall i think the fit is really flattering on me this is a size extra small this is a really comfortable like everyday kind of dress and i love that and i kind of need that in my wardrobe it just lands like mid calf and i think that's perfect i usually like my dresses around this mid midi length and uh, i love the sleeves i think the sleeves are like perfect on my shoulders sometimes sleeves are a little bit longer or a little bit shorter than i'd like but um i feel like the fitting on this is pretty pretty on point and it is a nice crew neck here and I think it's really cute very flattering So I am wearing these shoes from Who What Wear. They are the beige, kind of yellowish tone um, Mary Janes, and they are size 8. I've never once wore a size 8 in my life. They are pretty big on me. I did want to wear them so you guys can see what they look like, but they are extremely big. Like, I can stick two of my fingers in the heel there. So let's go ahead and change this pair so we know that this isn't gonna work. <laughs> I just wanted to quickly show you the hoop earrings that was included in my trunk club and they're super cute. I think these are like the perfect size, very subtle. It's perfect for like wearing multiple hoop earrings if you wanted to wear more than one. I think it's so cute, really cute pair. So I changed my shoes. I'm wearing these platform Oxfords that I purchased from a thrift store. And I thought that wearing them with this dress would give me those vintage vibes. And I feel like I just nailed that. This is probably my favorite piece in this trunk club box. And I am just like absolutely loving this dress. 
this is the type of dress that I'm looking for. I love midi dresses on me. I feel like it complements my body type. This is probably supposed to be more of like a shorter length dress, but because I'm 5'1", it lands perfect for my height. It isn't lined or anything like that, but I feel like it's more of like... It almost has that kind of like sear sucker material to it. It is buttoned down all the way with this like tie waist belt here, which I really like. And there's like, there isn't a hole for the pocket on the right side. It's really interesting. I think it's a defect in the dress, but the pocket holes are there. I can feel it underneath the dress. I checked it, it's there. So there is supposed to be a pocket here, but I do love it. I love this dress. I love the fit on me. I think it's perfect. It's really comfortable. It could be dressy and or casual. I just, I love this dress so much. This is the midi dress that I was looking for. Let me tell you my final thoughts. Overall, I think this box was pretty darn good. My stylist gave me everything I asked for and more. The first thing here that I'm setting back, this pair of Mary Janes from Who, What, Where, I think. Um, it was just too big. I'm not like completely in love with it. So for that, I'm for sure just gonna send this guy back. The next pair of shoes that I got were the Mark Fisher Lug Sole boots. I love these so much but I just can't seem to figure out how I can make it look good on me. Every time I wear it, I just feel like I'm wearing like Ronald McDonald shoes and it just doesn't look good on me the way other girls rock these boots. And for me, it just doesn't seem to work. Maybe if it was all black or maybe the tan color it would work, but the white just sticks out so much and I'm shorter and to have this size like lug boot just kind of like drowns me out. So for that, I'm gonna go ahead and just pass on these. The next thing I'm sending back is this Madewell pullover. Super cute pullover. If you're in need of one, I think this is such a good quality piece here. I just have so many and I don't even wear all of them. I love the color of it, but it's not enough for me to add to my like collection of pullovers. So I'm gonna go ahead and pass on this. The next thing I'm gonna pass on is this Nordstrom shirt dress. This dress took me by surprise. I was already sure that I was not gonna like it, but once I put it on, I did really love it. It's a little bit too edgy for me. For that, I'm gonna go ahead and pass on this. The next thing is the this pair of Wit & Wisdom denim jeans in the gray color with the stretchy like waistband here. I love this pair, but I have a pair extremely similar to this. I have to let this one go. I have two maybes in this trunk, and the first here is this Treasure & Bond ruched dress. Super cute. It did surprise me. I don't normally get like bodycon dresses like this, but the ruching on it really did make it a much more flattering on me. And this is a really nice everyday dress. Curious to see if this comes in different colors. I have a feeling it probably does, but um, I'm going to think about this piece. So this is just a maybe for me for now. The next maybe for me, the ex-boyfriend slim jeans from AG jeans. It's 200 something dollars. I don't know that I want to spend that much on these. Maybe I can wait for this to go on sale, um, but I'm going to keep this in mind for now. Okay, I found a few things here in this box that I really love. The first thing that I'm going to keep, of course, is the bra. I need this. The next thing I'm keeping are these earrings. And it's 18 karat gold plated and I love it. It's really pretty, very subtle and classy looking. The next thing I'm going to keep are these Good American baggy jeans. I know it's weird, right? But I, I love it. And it's not over $200, but it is an investment. The quality is really nice. It's baggy. I'm probably going to have to get it hemmed but I know that it would wear this a lot and I just like loved it. I think the fit was perfect. The waist was perfect. And I love that everywhere else was baggy except for the waist. I won't need to wear a belt or anything with it. Super on trend right now. And I just, I love this. It's super vintage looking and it's definitely new to my collection right now. And I just really love it. I think this is a great investment piece. So a keep for me. Last thing I'm going to keep is this halogen dress. Absolutely fell in love with this. Um, totally the kind of dress that I'm looking for. And it's just something very modern and vintage at the same time. And you can just change that up by changing your accessories and shoes and um, very comfortable. So for that, this is um, a keeper for me. All right, so those are my thoughts on my trunk club. 
You guys let me know what you think about the pieces that I received. If you think I should keep anything or maybe not keep anything, um, let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. I'll leave everything that I tried on in the description box for you, including a referral code. If you guys wanted to try Trunk Club out, you do get a discount, um, but I also benefit from that. There are other codes around there on YouTube, so if there's somebody else you wanted to support, go right ahead and do that. Just make sure you save some money. And of course, if you enjoy my videos and you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe down below. But thanks so much again for joining me. These videos are always so fun to do. You guys have a great day and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.